Hello everyone. Well, I have my Series 1 Flow Hood that I've owned for over 10 years. Bought it from Fungi.com. And like I said before, it's like the entry-level Flow Hood for everybody getting into mushroom cultivation. And I'm sure the inside of it is just caked with all kinds of nasty dust, hair, and debris from about a thousand hours or more of lab use. So today I'm going to unscrew all this frame around the filter and pop it out. I'm going to use this air compressor over here. Just a little one and take the flow hood outside and blast the inside of it out. Also blast the the inside of the squirrel cage out too because I'm sure it has some dust in there as well. Wipe it out and then I'll put it back into the lab room um, and insert the, the new filter and put it all back together. And, you know, of course, I definitely don't want to be doing this in the lab room or really in my house because it's going to be a lot of dust flying around. I got the frame off. It came off pretty easy. There is no adhesive or anything like that holding it on. And you can see the the filter is just sitting in there gently too, so really easy to get out. So that's nice. So let's just take this out. And look at that, wow. It is surprisingly clean. I guess maybe maybe not too surprising, considering that you know the air always circulates around and cleans itself, but I would have thought there'd be uh some clumps of uh, hair, dust, and debris, you know, caught up in there, but all I see is a little bit of sawdust. And then you can see the, the back of the filter. It looks in good shape, so. This filter probably has some good use to it left. I'll, I'll save it, keep it around. Maybe I can turn it into um, another positive pressure system. Kind of like how I have uh, uh, the 12 by 12 unit in my lab as a positive pressure for the space. But yeah, I'll figure, I'll figure out something good to do with this. It won't go to waste. All right, I've wiped the inside of this filter out with some bleach wipes. Did the outside too, just gave it a general cleanup. And I'm gonna put the, the new filter in. You can see the, the pleats in it. It's a fabric filter. Notice that one side is bare and the other side has the, the, the gasket. You want the gasket side to be facing towards the front because that's where your framing will put up against it and seal it. But yeah, it goes back there. Can't go back any farther. It's a, a very quick and easy replacement job. So, so kudos to, to fungi.com for making it easy. And then I'll just screw the framing back on it and it'll be ready to go. And uh, yeah, once I start cleaning this area up in the lab, I can get to uh, refreshing some culture slants. Be aware now that when putting up the walls on this, that you don't run screws into the filter. So make sure that you only put screws on the, the back half portion of your flow hood. And you know, four or five of them should be enough to, to hold that nice and sturdy. And maybe two, maybe put like one short fat one to keep it stable towards the front. And that probably won't cause any problems.